if statements in Power Apps or conditionals as we also call them. So the basic syntax in Power Apps for an if statement or conditional is the if function, then a condition or logical test as we call them. If that is true, then the result is provided afterwards. Optionally, we can also provide a default result if the condition isn't true. If we would like to check for several conditions, we can provide them uh, next to each other. So the first condition, then the result if that is true, then the second condition, and then the result if that one is true. And at last, optionally, we can also provide a default result. If none of the conditions are true and no matches is found, or no matches are found, and you haven't specified a default result, then a blank value is returned. Let's look into an example. I have a H uh, field here, where we can type in our H, and then I have a text here that explains to us whether we are allowed to enter or not. So the if statement I provided consists of a condition or logical test, which is comparing the value of the input field to a number. In this case, if the number I provide is below 18, if it is, then it will say, no, we are not allowed. And I provided a value of 30, but I haven't. So that, that's above 18, but I haven't provided any default result, thereby it returns blank. Let's provide a default result as yes, because if we are above 18, then we are allowed. So let's check this quickly. So let's say we were 15, then we are not allowed to enter. If we are 25, then we are allowed to enter. Let's provide one more conditional logical test inside this if statement to check and see how that works. So right after the first condition and the result, if that is true, we will provide a another condition. So in this case, let's check if we are below 25 and then say maybe we are allowed. So in this case, if we were 23, then maybe we are allowed. If we are 12, then we are not. And if we are 40, then we are allowed. So that was a quick run through of if statements in Power App. I hope you learned something and enjoyed the video. If you would like more tips and tricks, you are welcome to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, stay awesome and build awesome apps.